Good day YouTube. So today I'm going to be making a review on this Hillmore tube bender. It's called a compact bender kit. Um, I paid around 180 bucks maybe for it about three, four years ago now. Uh, so I just want to make a review to show you guys what I think of it. I've used it quite a bit in the field. So we're going to be bending a piece of uh, 5 8 pipe and 7 8 today. So overall the case is held up pretty well. It's got metal latches here. And this will bend anything from quarter inch all the way to seven eighths. Um, the writing on these dies are pretty good. They're steel dies, they're not plastic. So you got quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths half inch, five eighths, three quarter inch, and seven eighths. Uh, this is a hand lever tool. It's pretty nice how this works. I, I used to use a yellow jacket bender. So those have a wing nut here on the back with a screw. This one's got one of these balls here, spring loaded balls. So we're gonna be doing 5 eighths today which is in blue so all you need to do is you line that up with the pin here snap it in it's really rigid it, it won't fall off um, so we're gonna grab a 5 eighths die again spring loaded ball here snaps in really nice it's not gonna come out um, the lever here is locked all you do is slide this over to unlock it it unlocks if you press this lever down you're able to move this so i usually move it all the way down so we'll grab our piece of five eighths here and what i normally do is wherever i want the center of my bend to be like this the bent part wherever i want that center i'm going to line that up right in the middle of the die so We'll put it here, and then you just squeeze the lever until it gets snug there. And it's a one hand operation. We're just going to go ahead and bend this. So we're at a 90 there. Now to release it, I have to press up on this lever here. But what I find is easiest is I'll just squeeze this just a hair more and then it releases no problem. So now we have a 90 degree bend. Now sometimes I found with 5 eighths, it'll kind of leave a ripple here. Um, on this particular pipe, it, it it, I guess it left a bit of a ripple right here, but nothing too major. I've seen a lot worse. Now, we'll go ahead and do the piece of 7 8 That one I could almost guarantee will leave a ripple. But I'm pretty sure that all two benders are like that. I know the yellow jackets used to ripple it pretty good. So. Um, now, this will be free to, like if you want to remove this die, this will be free to move up. So what you're supposed to be able to do is push down on this lever here and it's supposed to hold it in place so that you could remove your die. I find that doesn't always work so I just hold the shaft here and just wiggle it off. So now we'll go ahead and grab our piece of, sorry, three quarter inch, not seven eighths. I got a three quarter inch piece here, I don't have seven eighths so we'll go ahead and snap that in place. Now you'll see that three quarter inch is not on here so we're gonna have to push this off and then just clip it back in here and it really doesn't matter which orientation you clip it in as long as you make sure that it's three quarter inch on both so we'll go ahead and uh, bend that grab our piece of three quarter inch here
And again, it's a one hand operation. It's pretty effortless. I do have a pretty good grip, but uh, this isn't taking very much effort at all. So, okay, we're at a 90 right there, so I'm going to release it. This one, kind of seeing the light here, a little bit of ripplage here. Nothing major or nothing. Um, yeah, nice bend. It looks a little bit off there, but it's just because the end here is kind of curved. But that is a 90 degree bend, so. Overall, pretty happy with the tool. Um, like I say, it held up for a good three, four years, and it's still, it's still a great tool. I wouldn't trade it for nothing else, so I would recommend it. My hand's all tired from bend bending it. There we go. Cut off that die. You know, this one you could definitely see some ripplage in it. Still not too, too bad, but. And that's a piece of 7 8 there, so. And what I wanted to show you guys earlier there. I guess it didn't come up on camera well, but if you want it, like if you want to pull this off, but it's free to move, all you do is this green lever, you just, it's got to be out a little bit, but just push down on it, and it locks it in place, so you're able to pull this out. I, I don't really care for that design, so I just normally hold on the shaft, pull it out like this, and then hold it on. It's kind of hard getting your fingers in there, really. So, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it.